Oh, hot damn to all my freaks, geeks, and preverts out there. I am the rooster. Come here, Lewis. And the one behind the controller this fine evening would be the duck. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I forgot I left that on. <laughs> you dipshit, these ain't zombies. These are Minecraft fools. Oh, look how old Blockhead act like nobody sees him. I forgot I left this mod on. That is Hello, great. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. What the so, fuck is this? Oh, I thought Lewis was one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, Way to be that girl. <laughs> so today, Ducky is going to be telling you a story, and she's just going to ah. tell while playing, so I, I don't know how this is going to go. So, first story, this is all a collective it's, it's story. It's all it's collectively one. I may have embellished. After Hurricane Katrina hit, I did not have any friends to eat a pipe bomb. So, in my school, he came charging at me, old blockhead motherfucker. Well, I may have embellished some things. <laughs> oh, but the hunter's the fucking same. Of course he would be. So, your first story is called Dropout Jimmy. Okay. I had this friend, this big uh, Filipino-Asian friend, named Shane. And I called him Jimmy. And, well, I guess he took like a week or a little bit longer than a week off of school. <laughs> and I think he went home to visit his family in the Philippines. Or so something stupid like that. And he told me and my sister, and we both knew, but I guess he didn't tell our other clique of friends. So here we are. They're like, oh, where's Jimmy today? And I was like, uh, you yeah, know, whatever, he's just not here. Well, after about the fourth day, or fourth or fifth day of him not being there, which is a whole school week, um, they were getting a little worried. And I said, oh, no, 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 it's, it's okay. I talked to James last night. No. He decided <laughs> that his studies weren't going very well. And that he just, he, uh, made, <laughs> he decided to drop out and, like, <laughs> pursue his life outside of school. Back in the Philippines, he wants to be like a banana farmer or whatever like that. Did you so, really say Yes, I did. It's like a banana harvester or something like that, but it has something to do with getting bananas. Pick bananas. Pick bananas. Fucking yeah. fuck! Yeah, way to go. Well, <laughs> it's because I'm not Beal. Beal. I can't see you. So, nobody believed me at first, but here comes next week and James is in school again. And apparently this fucking lie had spread like wildfire. And the teachers were getting involved. And he was in, like, two of my classes at the time. And, uh, I don't really use pistols, dude. But the teachers started getting involved and asking about Jimmy. And Miss, uh, Miss Moore, my English teacher, she's like, here, she pulled me out to the side. And she's like, Felicia, you know, I know how you and James are real close. First off, we weren't really close. We used to fucking sit up against a wall at lunch together. And just eat. <laughs> and she's like, what's going on? I was like, he's like, is it true? He decided to, you know, to quit coming to school. I said, oh, yeah, he dropped out. Like, he didn't tell y'all. I'm just so shocked that y'all don't know this. Y'all the teachers. Y'all should be the, the first responders when it comes to this. So they started taking him off the fucking roll and everything. And everybody started trying to blow up his Facebook. But, you know, he's in the Philippines. They didn't have Facebook. MySpace back then, and yeah, he finally came back to school, and I was like, "Oh, thank God, you d you came to your senses." <laughs> he did not know what was going on for the longest time. For, I'd say like a month or two, he didn't know that me and my sister convinced the whole school we dropped out. Didn't y'all? Now is this the same story? Didn't y'all make him a Facebook or? A yeah, Facebook? that's the next one. Okay, so the next one, I didn't know that that was this one. <laughs> It's called Jimmy Gets Mugged in quotation summer vacation. <laughs> James, <laughs> same guy, you know, big Asian. He uh, he was going on vacation. He told us, you know, we all kept contact in the summer, and I knew he was going on vacation. My sister knew he was going on vacation, and apparently, uh, what the fuck is his name? Justin Marino. Marino, Marino. I don't know. I can't remember his last name now. 
Uh, he didn't know. So, he was gone the entire summer. So, we made him a fake Facebook. A fake, a fake MySpace. Or was it Facebook? I can't remember. We made him a fake page. <clears throat> and when Justin Machina, that was his name, we went and added Justin to it. And he's like, why ain't you been talking to me? He messaged us, and I was like, oh my god, Michelle, he wrote to us. So we write back to him, acting like James. Um, <laughs> saying that <laughs> he couldn't respond to any of his messages because he went to New York City. And he was expecting, you know, all the stories he heard as a child, you know, about the, <laughs> the roads being paved with gold. Him and his family wanted to see for himself. And as soon as they got off the plane, they got mugged. <clears throat> he got mugged. Somebody stole his phone and beat him up and, uh, you know, stole all of his grandma's purse. And the only thing that was left was a little notepad that they could, you know, write down details for the police. So I convinced him that James got mugged. And, you know, got all of their stuff stolen in the summer, his laptop and everything. So, here comes the first day of school. <laughs> here comes Justin, goes up to James. And we had forgot we made this, you know, page. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, what's wrong, James? You didn't, um... Uh... <laughs> no, it's Justin! It wasn't James, it was Justin! We convinced James that Justin got mugged because he's like, oh, what's wrong? Justin can't give back to nobody. You got your phone mugged? Your phone mugged? Mug? And he didn't know what the fuck we were talking It was Justin. It's been so long. But, yeah, he didn't know what the fuck James was talking about. James was like, what? He's like, you know, you got mugged. <laughs> Couldn't have found out James got so mad that we made that fake Facebook. He's like, I told y'all stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, he did, too. He told us a lot of stuff. Oh told us okay. a lot of stuff that would make his grandma blush. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well. I guess that's a different story for a different day. Alright, next story. Uncle Phil, and I already know this one. Okay, the Sun Chips one kind of go hand in hand. Sun Chips and Uncle Phil, okay. Okay, so here I am in German class my junior year in Air Larson. This guy, he's a fucking nutcase in himself. He always used to just let us do whatever we wanted in class. And he wasn't really a good teacher at all. Is this a door back here? Yeah. Oh. You just noticing this? Yeah. How many years have we been playing this yeah, game? Yeah, man. I normally just run and shoot my teammates. Yeah, I, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we're in German class. And I was running cross country, so I had like to constantly be eating something because we were running between <clears throat> six and nine miles a day and I, I was always eat a peanut butter and banana sandwich and sun chips so he's all every day we're just writing on the fucking whiteboard he never even used to let us do anything we used to write on that he's like oh look he's bringing sun chips to school every day Felicia I had a big old bag he's like you must really have connection I didn't even look back from the, you know, writing on the dry erase board. I said, well, yeah, I got more than connection. And he said, what do you mean? And not even, just kind of talking, like, to myself. Not even realizing what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, when my, <laughs> when my dad was deployed in Oman, he wanted to find a lightweight snack for him and his uh, army buddies, uh, Air Force buddies. So he, he invented some chips. <laughs> Can you believe me? Oh, he believed me. And then Dr. Phil would come on TV every day. And that's, that same, it was like same breath. I was like, oh, look, it's Uncle Phil. He's like, Uncle Phil? Because it came on TV. I was like, <clears throat> Dr. Phil was on TV. And I was like, yes, that's, that's my uncle. Uh, he actually helped me find my, my long lost sister. And this is Lisa, the next story. Uh, I wanted... These motherfuckers didn't even help me out. <laughs> you fucking black motherfucker. Wow. Lewis, you what, motherfucker. What? How dare you? you fuck you, Lewis. You're like, like a heel. race war on my channel. <laughs> race war. <laughs> oh, fucking Cartman. Race no, war. No, it was, it was, um, <laughs> it was about Cleveland. 
When they go on that marriage, they're screaming, race war! Oh, yeah, and then they, they <laughs> yeah. freaking uh, put him in cuffs or whatever, yeah. too. No, they, they beat him. Oh, yeah. Well, I had, can I wanted my friend in my class with me, and she was in a different German class, like, later on in the day, and I was like, I really want her in my class. And he's like, oh, we don't have room in this class. I tried to get her in, and they won't let me, and I was like, well... It's just, and I acted real sad, and he's like, well, you must be really attached. I was like, attached? We were actually separated at birth. (laughs) (laughs) And keep in mind, she's two years older than me. We were separated at birth. We were twins, and we didn't know until later on, after Katrina brought us back together, and my Uncle Phil helped me find my long-lost sister. Needless to say, like, Monday, she was in my class. He didn't even say, you know, she's two years older than you, Felicia. No, she was like a year and a half. She was like 19, 18, 19. All right, so you got one more story left. Let's see if you can get this one out without, you know, I don't know, dying again. The Italian Jew. I don't oh, I don't even think I know this Yeah, you story. do, and you Rob's cursed. Okay, um, so let's hear the Italian Jew. Story. I'm Italian. I'm not Italian Jew. I don't like the baby. I... It, this is at this all at the same school. All all of these things are at the same fucking school. Fountain Blue High. My imagination ran wild, and somebody told me Merry Christmas in German class, and I, I I was like, I'm so deeply offended. Like I can't believe you would even do something so stupid. He's like, Why? Why are you offended? I was like, He's like, You're one of those people that say Happy Holidays. I said, No, we say Happy Hanukkah. And he's like, You're not Jewish. I was like. Excuse the fuck out of me. He's like, you don't look Jewish. I was like, oh, so we gotta look Jewish now? I was like, I am Jewish. He's like, of course, it wasn't even a Jewish name. And I was like, you like, I don't want to hear it. Like, because his last name, he was Asian. His last name was like Smith or something. I think it was like Tyler Smith. And I was like, come on now. Your, your mom makes egg rolls for you for lunch. Your last name is Smith. So, finally... Todd comes over and he's like, oh, you're feeding into it. He's like, I didn't know, you know, I had no idea you were Jewish. I was like, do you want me to broadcast it everywhere? Like, really? I'm fucking Jewish. I didn't think I needed this, you know, stamp of approval. So I was just bored one day in class. And here it comes. <clears throat> A few days later, they start bringing me presents every day and, like, candy and stuff. And I was like, what are you, it's like, you know, I know you don't celebrate Christmas. I know you celebrate Hanukkah. So we're going to bring you candy and like stuff for like the next couple of days so this went on out of my class and now the entire school thinks I'm Jewish except for Jimmy and the few people I talk to so they had this one guy Chris and he was he hung out with us I don't know why I hung out with him and he called me he first he didn't think I was Jewish I said I'm Jewish and for the longest time he believed I was Jewish and I'd say it was two years after this I find he, cause he used to come over to our house. This is how good he was with us. He, he oh, knew my mom. Oh, Big Lips Chris? Yes, Big okay. Lips Chris. <laughs> um, this wasn't long after my sister tore a ligament in his leg. She beat the shit out of him. And I finally, he said, oh, is that a fucking tank? Uh, I believe uh, the word you you're looking for is your bone. Motherfucker. Well, I finally, he came over to the house one day. This is after I graduated high school. I'm like, Whatever, I wasn't even living with my parents. I was like, whatever, Chris. I'm not even Jewish. So he kept calling me Juju. He looked at me like in disbelief, and I was like, I, no, for real, like I'm not Jewish, Chris. He sat there for like ten minutes, like sulking, and then he comes out and says, "You're lying." I was like, I know I'm lying. That's why I just told you I'm not Jewish. He's like, he he looked at me and said. You know you're Jewish. I don't know why you're lying about it. (laughs) So two years later, he knows my whole family. He knows my family was Lutheran. And he just figured I was Jewish. Jeremy, I don't like this nonsense. I forgot that I left the Minecraft zombies on. I haven't played Red Dead on the the laptop in a while. He really, still to this day, if I were to see him, he probably would still fucking think I'm Jewish. And he's like, oh no, she's Jewish. Even with my entire family saying, no, dude, we're not Jewish. She's not Jewish. And he's like, why would somebody lie about that? I was like, why would I lie about not being Jewish? You know, why would I lie about? I, 
As many times as I've heard these stories, like they always make me question the people you know. <laughs> I, I will give you. This. Were you there were there when he thought that he's like, yeah, no, I, I know no. you. You're so really I'm not good at manipulating people. Up. Either that or just people you know are really. No, I'm really good at manipulating smart. people because I was a really good student in high school. Is that how you got me to marry you? Like, no, is that, how that, went? that was more or less. We were at the mall, and I was like, "What the fuck? I have engagement rings, and I'm 17, and we buy an engagement ring, and he proposed to me in a photo booth." I know I'm a real charmer. <laughs> yeah, those people are stupid. Oh, and another one, Mr. Lawson's German class. It's another one from this same man. <clears throat> we had different periods, and they scheduled a like a pep rally or something outside. And every time that would happen, I would go, Fuck me, run in there, call me! Good fucking job. Fuck right in the pussy. <laughs> you grab her by the pussy. You, have, you don't listen to our commander-in-chief? You grab no. that bitch by the pussy. Oh, uh, I listen to the homeless guy that jumps in the. <laughs> right I think pussy. he's homeless. I think that <laughs> he looks just homeless. like. Well, anyway, <laughs> back, back to it. Um, what was I about? Oh, well, we had a pep rally, and it was announced at the beginning of the day, and <laughs> the oh, period okay. after us. It's right after my German class ended is when the pep rally was. So everybody had to go right from their class to outside to the uh, stadium. And I was like, hey, Mr. Larson, who's the... Because somebody got like fucking six, seven pizzas delivered to the room. They had like a box, a big old box of donuts. They had a whole bunch of junk food, chips, Coke, and everything. I was like, Mr. Larson, who this belong to? And he's like, oh, that's blah, blah, blah. I don't even remember his name. It was in the next class. He said, it's his birthday. And I was like, can, can we have it? And Todd was like, hey, look, we should get him to give us that stuff. And I was like, can we have it, Mr. Larson? And he's like, no, I can't let you have that. It's for his birthday. I was like, well, technically, next period is the last period of the day, which is his. He has to go to a pet rally. Nobody's going to be in class anyway. Tell when he comes back to get it, tell him somebody took it when they were at the pep rally. He sat there for a minute. This is the fucking teacher, and he's like, All right, go ahead and get it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same man. And this bitch, is the you know same that? man that in our German class, in the middle of the classroom, he had this dolly set up with fucking coffee for everybody. He had a high school kid's coffee. Coffee's in Toblerone's. You're legit a conniving ass bitch, right? <laughs> I hope this tank I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna do that because Todd was the one that was like, hey, I want that pizza, bro. But he was a stoner, so it was hot. Probably. But yeah, that's just how it went. He just let's have all that boy <laughs> stuff. Alright, everybody, this was story time with Ducky. If you liked it, let us know down below. Or if you have a story of your own of you It'd being be a manipulative ass. I'm not manipulative, and I don't <laughs> like this. Just let us know down below. If somebody's stupid enough to believe that my uncle is Dr. Phil, my dad invented Sun Chips, and all this other shit, and I'm going to a public fucking school with these retards, then they deserve for me to take their stuff. Let us know in the comments down below, and if you want to vote, on what story you want to hear, go watch Monday's video, which would be South Park's Take a Truth, episode 12. Y'all want to see me kill Lewis real quick? Come here, Lewis. I'm going to shut the door. No, I want to kill Lewis. How am I going to kill Lewis if I shut the door? Well, oh, the pistols, you ain't going to do shit. We'll see you in the next episode. Rooster, out. out.